Well, we did it. Uh, we're doing an unboxing tonight. Uh, it should be pretty obvious because you see a box. What's in the box? Everyone knows what's in the box if you're searching this on YouTube. Um, not my normal thing. Usually unbox model kits or build models or bitch and moan about model stuff. This is a freaking toy. This isn't just a toy. This is the ultimate man-child with a job toy. This, oh God. I mean, when I was a kid, I didn't even have an original G1 Optimus Prime until my teenage years and I had to buy it from a collectible toy shop down in the village. I'm pretty sure, somewhere in Greenwich Village, but whatever. I overpaid for it and then, you know, progressively got the G1 reissues and this thing, and I, I mean, I have all the, it's like a Walmart exclusive masterpiece edition Optimus Prime. That thing's beautiful. That's in my office at work. This might just be replacing it. This thing is freaking epic. This is the Robeson from uh, Shenzhen, China, where all our good shit comes from these days. Sorry, everybody. That's how it is. Um, so Hasbro, well, you know, well, they're basically a Chinese company based in the U.S., but everything's built there. So either way, uh, Robeson built a really cool robot, um, transformable vehicle into a robot thing. It looked like, it looked like shit, to be honest. It, go look up like the Robeson T9. It looks like hot garbage. Somehow though, they approached Hasbro, Hasbro approached them, somebody knows, maybe Retro Blasting knows, in his monotone, dry, semi-sarcastic, yet logical way of talking about things. Yeah. We should do the rest of this video like we're retro blasting. No, nope, not gonna happen because this is pit stains hobbies. So, how do you immediately devalue something collectible? That's it. Okay, before we even cut it open, uh, to the, to the super psycho collectible people, um, you know the box. It's got a FedEx label on it because they didn't ship this in an outer box. And if you notice, there's a little, yeah, this thing slid around a couple of FedEx trucks and fulfillment centers or whatever they are, warehouses. Um, but either way, um, we, oh, oh, okay. We could come back from this, but not, oh, no. Oh, uh-oh, we cut the tape. Wait, most of it, okay. There we go, there's a hundred bucks. At least a hundred bucks. Um, Let's not leave the knife on the dining table. I don't have kids, but that cat, who knows what he'll knock on the floor. This is impressive. The box is a good thick, double corrugated. If you want to see the, no one cares. But it's a double layer corrugated box, heavy duty. The finest the Chinese paper industry has to offer. And then we got these hardboard corners. And you got one on each side of the top here. That's nice. And they got them down all four corners, foam padding all four sides, and easiest way to do this, as with most large collectible. Oh, he just cleared the camera. Oh, good God. Oh, they're on the floor. Okay. So, there's the box. <clears throat> More of these. Oop. Hard things. We're so close to the chandelier right now, it's ridiculous. This thing's pretty big. Ah! Ah, ah! Okay. As everything I do, it's calamity. Ugh, that's what you come here for though, people, and I do not want to disappoint. And if you've never been here before, and this is your first time, like and subscribe. I might unbox some other stuff as well. Because, or re-unbox. I moved a few years back and I boxed up all of my Hot Toys stuff and my Hot Wheels Elites and my other movie cars things. Okay, well, we already did a hundred bucks in damage to this model. Oh, we just did another hundred dollars in damage. All right, fair enough. Oh. oh, you know you're screwed when you see the Google Play and App Store logos on with a QR code. Um, and it reminds me a little of that BB-8 thing from Star Wars. That was super hot for a minute, and then it got old. That was based on Bleeding Edge Tech 2 at the time, as far as toys were concerned. Um, you know, you had the ball, it would roll around, the head would stay on the top, 
That was pretty amazing. We all freaked out over that thing. I got one it's down in the basement collecting dust where if this ever ends up down there, then so be it. But yeah, the, the novelty, here's the thing. I mean, you want to do the last hundred bucks in damage? Um, it's a nice box. Very nice. They have really upped the game with the packaging and a lot of things. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the novelty wears off in these things. I mean, you're going to spend 800 friggin' dollars, depending on your local municipality's tax collection for online things, which Georgia collects sales tax on everything from everywhere. And I'm not complaining about that. That's fine. That's a good thing because they don't tax the hell out of you in other areas, mostly. It depends on your county. Um, yeah, you could spend, some of the earlier adopters, I think they were getting these things for like $650 and, or $700 or $750. And then it was like, then it went up to $800 and $849, whatever the hell the price, I don't even remember what I paid. Yeah, it was like $850 with shipping. Um, so, oh, there's the last now on the, well, I mean, not even that. I mean, a cut tape is bad enough. But now, now here's a little, I don't follow this advice all the time and it bites me in the butt. But if you use something flat and long, preferably a butter knife and not a spider coat paratrooper um, to cut up, to lift the tab up, uh, it reduces the potential damage to the, the, yeah, no one cares. Well, maybe somebody does. Oh, look at this. Okay, so we have a handle. Oh, isn't that nice? Okay, the styrofoam box in this thing costs more than some toys I own, I think. Um, there we go. Look at that. Is that, is that an applique? Whoa! That is awesome! Authentic Transformers! Robosin, your Shenzhen masters of your wallet. Nothing on the back, nothing on the sides. So this is supposed to be like a carrying case. And I'm assuming that's a lock. And over here, another lock. Oh, it's hinged? Okay, don't mind the dogs. Flanders, why'd you release the hounds? Okay, wow. This is pretty special looking. This huge chunk, I can't explain exactly how dense. Oh wait, oh my God, there's secrets inside of the box. It's not Laplace's box, but it's a pretty cool box. Um, all right, we've got, oh, the Optimus Prime Blaster. And we've got, we've got the Energy Axe, Heat, not a Heat, it's not a Heat Hawk. All right, Gundam people, it's not a Heat Hawk. It's like an Energy Axe, could be a Beam Axe, but it kind of, I think it's an Energy Axe. But again, the, the, I'm a huge Transformers fan, but you know, there's people way nerdier than me. So, oh my God, the, just the packaging on this. I don't care. These other reviewers, they freak out when he transforms. We know what the damn robot's gonna do when it transforms. Um, I've got uh, a quick start guide. Read the manual. Sorry, I'm an IT. We don't do that. <clears throat> we got a bunch of little, oh, messing these things up. What's this? Is that an empty box? It's just a little thing, just stuffed into this little hole. Do we wanna zoom in a little? Nope, oh, there we go. There we are, that's a little better. What's in here? I don't think there's anything in here. This is, oh, smokestacks. How do you open this without completely destroying it? Very carefully. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Nice. Okay. Is there actually something in here then? Let's see. Oh. Yeah, see, this is one of those ones. It's just not going to cooperate. I'm pretty sure this is just an empty-ass box, so nothing for now. 
And then this guy, we got a USB cable. Don't think we need to open this. If you don't have enough charge cables to charge this guy, if you don't have that many charge cables, you definitely shouldn't own one of these. <laughs> Not yet. Go get your first cell phone. Or basically anything USB powered. Um, got a power supply. Oh, look at this crap. It's, yeah, yeah. Okay, this one I actually need to open. It's got a little, you know, tiny, uh, little connector doohickeys of some form. There we go. And I just, just, ah, there she is. Okay. What's a USB cable for then? I'm confused. Is that for like uploading firmware? Oh, maybe it's for like firmware updates. Again, IT guy, firmware updates. Uh, driver updates for those less IT but still somewhat technical. Um, firmware update. And then the, oh. Okay, to anyone who knows RC cars, when servos are unpowered, like a steering servo on your RC car, you could just pretty manipulate them manually. This thing, it just, if yeah. So, I'd say be, be gentle with these. We don't know if these are Metal Gear servos. We don't know if they're, you know, ball bearing servos. Um, all I know is that's the damn sound of a servo, if I've ever heard one a million times before. So, the servos, uh, those I think you want to be careful with. Uh, Knowing Hasbro and Robeson, I think the, the original Robeson robot sold for something like, uh, I'd like to say in the 400 plus dollar range. And this thing sells for 800. And the reason this sells for 800 was obviously some extra tooling costs and R&D that went into converting that shitty looking T9 into an... Okay, I'm impressed. This thing is friggin' ginormous. Okay, but they, they, they definitely had some extra expenses, but also Hasbro's a bunch of greedy bastards. I mean, $350 for a Rancor? Thank God you guys didn't back that thing. That was a complete waste of money. Um, the paint job, I, I'm not a Star Wars collector. I saw the Rancor, I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm not buying it, but it was cool. And then the, that was only the rendering, and there was no unlocks yet. I'm like, ah, I don't know what the unlocks are. There's gotta be some amazing unlocks with this thing. Um, you know, some of the harem from, uh, you know, the palace, but, and then they, oh god, then they released the colored rendering with the paint job up. Yeah, and you sip, I gotta wash, I gotta wash that rancor out of my mouth. Hold on a second. Mmm. Okay. Back at it. Um, quick start guide, important, remove the sticky tape. We shall remove, oh, we just took some more money off of this kit. Removing, yeah, that's another servo. Removing the sticky tape. Um, listen, I'm gonna display this. I'm gonna play with this thing. I'm just gonna remove all the stickies and whatnot. Um, you got a bunch of, there's a lot of protective plastic on this. Okay, easy. How do we get all this off of here? Oh my god, this is a... Okay, so you gotta manually... I'm so sorry, guys. You gotta manually... manipulate the robot a bit to get all the packing plastic. I mean, that's good. It, it won't... It's protecting the finishes from chafing in transit. Um, so it makes, it makes sense that they would do that, but, um, this is, man, okay. I wonder if this thing, oh wait, we've got more plastic? Okay, I think, I think we've got all the plastic off. Let's see what happens if we just turn it on. Lithium ion, it should... Oh, we forgot to get the windshield plastic off. No! We have incomplete ASMR! 
There we go. ASMR completed. Um. Hmm. I am the leader of the Autobots. Holy shit! Okay, it works! Um, I think we need to change camera angles, uh, or something here. So, we'll be right back. <clears throat> okay, better camera angle and better lighting. Um, when you snap in these smokestacks, they've got the little, you know, the little triangle eh, spear tip on them. Good luck getting those out without breaking one off. Um, my only complaint about this so far, besides, well, the price, everyone could complain about that, is they got a little tiny, you know, side window here. They could have done some paint deco to try to make it look like he had full side windows here. They could, they could have done it. I mean, yeah, they definitely could have added some paint deco. That aside, unless we want to get super nitpicky, um, he looks just about as perfect as you can imagine. I mean, w w would we all love, you know, clearance lights lit up and those lights lit up? Sure, fine, we would, but, but th th that's not why you buy this. You buy this for, hey, Optimus. Greetings. Transform. You buy it for this. This is why you buy it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so full disclosure, I went into the app, <clears throat> and uh, I downloaded the app, and then, and then we don't, oh no, we don't want a copyright hit, come on, uh, we don't want a copyright, whatever, um, hopefully we don't get a copyright hit, and now it's playing the music, okay, now we gotta connect, yeah, we gotta tap that to connect, come on, please, good God. X out of this. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So once we get out of all that copyright YouTube cringe-inducing music, um, we have little things. Do not allow the robot to carry the blaster and or... Yeah, okay. It's reminding you... Did... 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 Oh, okay. All right, all right, that looks a lot like he, looks a lot like he just dabbed. Whatever the dabbing is, I don't know. Let's all be quiet and watch him. You gonna move? He's supposed to like, he just, there you go. Yeah, he just like kind of breathes. A little closer here. Yeah, that's cool. Um. Uh, Energon. Um, whoa, Energon. What's that? I may be low on Energon. I'm low on Energon. You want, you want a little Energon? No. Oh, you don't want my Energon? Fine. Screw you, Optimus. Don't get my Energon. Hmm. He's cool. All right, let's, uh, let me just, he's a heavy beast. The, the shipping weight on this was 13 pounds. Only like three of it's probably the packaging. Um, I've got some cool stuff. What's this here? Hero pose. Let's tap that button. Yes, no weapons in the hands. We get it, app. That's awesome! Okay, power. Oh god, somebody else showed this. This is stupid, but... Optimus, do what I can't do. Push-ups. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, just, just showing off, Optimus, aren't we? You're a robot! Yeah. You know, in a very technical aspect of his push-up maneuver, um, those gotta be some decently strong servos. Um, because Optimus, I mean, his, his dry fighting weight has gotta be somewhere around 9 to 10 pounds at least. 
Um, I mean, we could weigh Optimus if you... Oh, Optimus. Are you, are you self-conscious about your weight? Because it's about to get weird. I'll be right back. Yes. Okay. Well, now, let's see what we got here. Uh, you're not in frame very well. There we go. Uh, you're not going to see how much that weighs anyway. Oh, we pulled out a filming light. Oh my god! Wow, a lot of that weight is the other crap. Uh, Optimus only weighs six pounds and a half an ounce. Yeah. What, what, what'd you do? I can't weigh you like that, can I? Oh, six pounds and a half an ounce. So yeah. Um, Optimus ooh, weighs a little bit. I guess, I, I don't know what that is. I don't know what Optimus, Optimus, what did you do? Let's just, Optimus. Oh, geez. Could we tap something? I don't know. Oh, um, what's grand up? Yeah, no weapons. It's now or never. That's great. Okay, well, I guess that's about it. I mean, the review is, my review is in. This thing's cool as hell. Um, and when he's in robot mode, he's flipping huge. Uh, no, let me go get another uh, accoutrement from the kitchen. Here we got here. Okay. Oh, watch out for the chandelier. Optimus is 19 inches tall. That's, uh, that's a lot of robot. And it's a real robot now, so it's kind of cool. You can actually call him a robot, because he's actually a robot. He's not an autonomous robot. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Engage. Fight. We got fight. Yeah, let's do fight. That's it. I guess Megatron's punching at him. Um, he, you know, those, those moves didn't serve him very well in the Transformers animated movie. Uh, he got knocked the F out. He should have been bobbing and weaving a little more. And then, you know, Hot Rod got in the way. But Debo knocked him the F out. So, that's it. Okay. Um, I guess um, Optimus is... Oh, go in the app. Um, Optimus is going to go bye-bye now. So, yeah, we're going to transform... I'm using the app. When you're using the app, you cannot use the voice commands. It is one or the other. And... There we go. And, uh... Yeah, so if you want to mix and match between the app and the voice commands, uh, not going to happen as far as I can tell so far. Uh, and even when you, like, just get out of the app, doesn't do any. You have to fully... Oh, God, we got to go back to my music. Oh, come on. you got to, like, fully exit the app. Gladiator mode. What? the hell did you just say? And then he goes back to voice commands and it's, you know, Hey Optimus. Hey Optimus. Transform. Hey Optimus. Greetings. Thank you. Transform. Jeez Louise. What a maroon. And there we go. Okay, I guess that's it. That was a nine minutes, five minutes, ten minutes. I don't know. I bullshitted long enough. Either way, this is the unboxing and review of the Robeson X Hasbro, Hasbro X Robeson, um, giant man-child nerd uh, trophy wife of a remote-controlled transforming Jesus. This thing is really, I mean, I, I didn't buy this purely because I'm a huge... G1 Transformers fan. 
I didn't buy this because I'm a huge toy nerd. I didn't buy this because I'm a millionaire. Because this friggin' thing's so expensive. I mean, this was... This was impactful on even a well-paid person's budget for their annual hobby allowancing. Like, I can get a Master Grade Gundam kit for anywhere from 50 to, you know, $75 for an average one. Um, hell, I can get a perfect grade, unleashed RX-78-2 Gundam that looks um, extremely accurate. Um, and then, apparently, if you leave... Optimus alone for while he does this, but either way, uh, for, you know, less than $300, and this guy was like, you know, 800 bucks, it's insane, but, I mean, you got to admit, that's a, uh, it's pretty, pretty freaking amazing, uh, that being said, I bought this for two reasons, um, or three, or five, I bought this for many reasons, actually. It's a similar reason to why I bought the Star Wars um, app-controlled BB-8. Um, it was a remote-controlled ball to start with. Just like Robeson had a remote, con uh, you know, a, a, a controlled, ugly-ass, transforming robot, is Robeson broke ground and came out with this consumer-accessible, transforming robot thing. It was ugly as sin and whatever. And, this other company, and I, I'm sorry I didn't research her name, but they invented the remote control ball. Um, that is the base of the Star Wars BB-8 um, remote control, app controlled robot. And uh, that droid, I bought that droid more as a historically significant stage in toy history. That stupid BB-8 which everybody was freaking out for, and they were scalping him like crazy, and this guy, he's been released, apparently, in large enough numbers via pre-order that the, the scalping ain't so good right now. Um, if you're looking to double, triple your money, you may have to sit on that second, third, etc., however many other family members you've made accounts for and has proposed. You may need to sit on them for quite a while until the first purge, you know, uh, completes, and then people are like, all right, I'm going to wait until they all get crazy and then, you know, go on eBay and find a... It's just going to get more expensive at some point. You're going to sit on it for a while, probably, if you wanted to double your money. So, And also, fuck you, scalpers. Part of my French. Uh, I will put a warning. Yeah, see? This, my channel is not for kids. Um, but this is very... I mean, historically significant. And I didn't buy the first robot control ball, but I bought the BB-8. Because it was the first, um, you know, licensed, you know, branded product. And I'm, I, I love Star Wars, but I'm not a collector. I'm not a Star Wars fanatic that buys all the Star Wars stuff. I've had a couple of Star Wars things over the years. I don't have them anymore. My brother got me like a, a, a Lego X-Wing fighter once, which was pretty cool, actually. Um, but I don't go crazy on Star Wars. Transformers... I had so many original Transformers. I mean, I had an original, you know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, <clears throat> my battery died, and uh, I was saying I, have, I had an original Fortress Maximus, Massive. I had a bunch of them, and I had like a, a, a crap ton of both the, um, was it Hasbro? It was Hasbro, right? Yeah, it was Hat. No, it was Hasbro. Um, I had a bunch of the Takara Tomy and Hasbro, you know, G1 reissues, and I sold all of them. So honestly, I have one Transformer left that I'm aware of. It's at my office. It's the Walmart exclusive, the original Masterpiece Edition Optimus. Um, but this, I mean, this is the first of its kind as far as licensed toy franchises go that I'm interested in. So the first one was Star Wars. I liked Star Wars, but I wasn't a fanatic. I really never collected Star Wars. Um, and then, you know, Transformers. I was a huge... I mean, I was huge in Transformers, but I just, I just, cut, I just cut and ran. Sold everything. Uh, I switched over to, like, Hot Toys and uh, 18th scale um, die-cast movie cars. He's just getting bored now. I have... Okay. He's... Interrupting my video. You're, 
Okay, so 9.5 out of 10 stars because Optimus Prime is a little a little rude shithead sometimes and just interrupts you when you're talking and you didn't say, hey, Optimus. Greetings. Shut off your damn ears. See, he doesn't, he doesn't respond to that. Hey, Optimus, shut down. Okay, so clearly this is when Optimus uh, returned. Uh, so what, season three of the cartoon series? Hey, Optimus. Greetings. Shut down. Megatron must be stopped, no matter the cost. And now, now he's meditating like a monk. All right, and on that note, um, with Optimus Prime meditating, uh, I don't know, should I wake him up? Ah, eh, fine, you know what? Let's do the app. Let's turn them back into a truck, and then this video is just over. Oh, I don't want to turn it back. Ah, oh, then the app. Hold on. Let's just do this here. I am the leader of the Autobots. You gotta hold that button a long time. Like five Mississippi. Hey, Optimus. Greetings. Transform. Yeah, whatever way he is pointing when he starts to transform, uh, he ends up in the opposite, opposite direction um, when he transforms. But either way, that's it. Um, that's Optimus Prime from Robeson X Hasbro, blah, blah, blah. Hasbro sucks, by the way. I mean, this is awesome. I don't, I'm not in love with those Hasbro people. Um, but either way, that's it. That's all. I did it. I'm one of five million people to unbox and review this frickin' thing. But at least for my very small subscribe base, you got to see this thing in your favorite idiot's hands. And uh, that should be worth the price of admission to somehow foolhardily subscribing to my channel. Either way, if you're not subscribed, I gotta say, you know, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, all that BF bull crap that every other YouTuber has to, I don't care. God, it, it, at the rate I'm growing my subscriber base, I'll get a sponsorship uh, in like 2075. Uh, hopefully pay off the credit card bills from all these damn things. Either way, bye-bye. Have a nice night. Thumbs up. Go get your... Here, hold on. <laughs> Have an Energon with me. There, there you go. All right. And uh, Autobots, roll out.